about fighting for the broken. Yes. I don't belong here. <laughs> Good for you. I, I tried to, to make glass a standalone so that if you didn't see the other two, you could just enjoy this premise. And when I was telling Disney and Universal, I said, let's pretend I just came to you and I said, I want to make this movie. Um, it's a hospital that treats people that think they're comic book characters and three characters escape. You know, that's it. That's what I'm going to make for you. And you want it to be, so I, in my heart, I can make it feel like an original movie. I am just very, I'm just built in a way that I need to not know so I can figure it out. And, and that's what motivates me. Um, and so when I'm offered a sequel or if I'm offered a remake or something, immediately I get depressed. I'm like, oh. I mean, no offense to, to sequels or anything like that. And I, you know, I get the loyalty of it because especially in times in our world where we're not secure, in the old days, in the 90s, 80s, sequels did like 60%, 50%, 40% of the original. They just keep on atrophying because people didn't want to have the same thing. They wanted a new thing. But then suddenly it flipped and people said, we're not feeling secure. We want to know where we are and know the characters. I want to, I want to be, I want to feel that security, but I don't, I don't, I don't want that. I want you guys to every single time risk yourself and come on a new journey. You know, moments of a paradigm shift in narrative uh, are, are when characters understand something where they didn't understand before. And in Split, it's an unusual one because the paradigm shift is for the audience only. And so you saw this story and he says, you know, the last lines, wait till the world sees us kind of thing. When Kevin, you know, the horde says, we're going to go to the world and wait till they see us. And then we go to this other scene and the audience goes, this guy is going to meet this guy at some point in the future is a fun narrative thing. What you want to do for me is that the movie isn't, isn't complete. It isn't complete when you walk out the door and you get to the, your car. It's still working on you. Those are the sticky, the sticky things. That's why I always love the first acts. So Unbreakable is basically a first act of a movie. Same thing with Split, it's a first act of a movie. Um, and you'll see with Glass what I did, you know? I, I like that feeling like the, the, the narrative continues with you. You finish the narrative. Yeah, I do. I mean, all of them are some iteration of me, you know? And I think the idea of trying to find your place in the world, trying to find meaning for who you are and that you are important, that not just one person, but you find your place, you're important, then that's, he was born with such a disorder that it feels like it was a mistake. And he's found a way to find meaning. So I, I like that persevering to find meaning. Oh, I can't. They're all my children. I can't, can't say. Yeah, I, I, but I do, I do, you know, look, obviously Kevin Wendell Crumb is, is a crazy part to write and a crazy part to play. You know, playing 24 personalities with the Beast is um, amazing and, you know, uh, so it's, he's up there. 